Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing for you a how to propagate succulent leaves in water video. Now, I know this is kind of a strange video for most people because obviously when you hear about succulents, the first thing you hear is obviously to keep them away from a lot of water. So to be able to propagate and root stuff in water seems a bit crazy, right? Well, succulents are actually able to produce two different types of roots. One that is specifically for water and absorb water like regular plants do. And then a secondary type of root, which is the main type of root that they put out when they're in soil, which actually absorbs moisture from the air around the roots. So they're two completely different kinds of roots. So obviously the first problem that arises when you do water propagate is obviously there is a transitional period when you do move them from water to soil. They obviously then have to put out soil roots, but it obviously does get a quick and early start to life. So it is definitely recommended uh, by a lot of people, which is what we're gonna be testing out today. Obviously last video, we did have to do it in soil and obviously I'm recording this the same day as I recorded that video. So we are going to be testing the growth rates using leaves that I had picked up at the exact same time and that have been in just a tray sitting in F at the exact same time. Um, and yeah, they're gonna be put into the respective tray stores and water same day and we're gonna come back in a couple months time and see where it's gotten up to so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to remove leaves from uh, the plants so the more the most important thing is obviously you have to try and remove the node as cleanly as possible because that's where all the DNA is stored in the plant it's the bit that attaches the leaf to the stem yeah, let's get down onto the table and uh, let's start removing the leaf <laughs> okay so again same as last time we're not going to be using this Pearl von Lauerberg leaf but it's just to demonstrate how to remove it Okay, so I'm going to just support the bottom of the stem with one hand and then grab the leaf and try and twist it left and right and try and get as close to the stem as possible. There we go. Oh. Okay, so this wasn't exactly a perfectly clean cut but it only took off a bit of the stem with it so that's not the biggest issue in the world. You can just pull that off. And there we go. Okay, so to propagate in water, you can either use um, a glass and some cling film, which I'm not gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna be using a shallow sort of dish. So this was actually some Tupperware that I um, chopped off and then I accidentally snapped the side, so I just sellotaped it up a bit and that should hold all right for what I need it for. Um, but yeah, you want something sort of shallow, preferably with slope sides if you can. If you obviously can't get slope sides, then obviously you just want really shallow slope. Uh, shallow sides <laughs> sort of like if I turn you you see this one how it's got really short sides okay so the really important thing that you want to make sure is that you don't submerge the entire end of the leaf because otherwise you're going to really um, subject it to the risk of rot obviously it's not a hundred percent chance but obviously me personally I don't want to risk it so I'm just going to fill this up with a little bit of water there we go, let's fill this with some water. And then I'm just going to pop the leaves in. There we go, just like that. There we go, just like that. And then they'll start to pot off loads of water roots because there's already some um, soil roots starting to establish from where they were just in the tray. Um, it, it will sort of send off signals to the mother leaf and it will start putting out water roots. Probably by tomorrow morning, I'll probably wake up and there'll probably be water roots there already. <laughs> so yeah, now it's just a waiting game. You just want to make sure that you definitely do not submerge that end leaf because you will run the risk of letting it rot. Make sure when you pull the leaves off as well that you leave it for a minimum of a week to callus because if you're putting it into water directly, you know, that risk of rot is so high, you really want to make sure that it has properly had enough time to callus. So I'd say one, two weeks um, to really try and eliminate as much risk of rot as possible. Now this, I'm just going to leave this on this table. As you can see, it sort of gets some dappled light. I've got the blinds shut right now <laughs> for recording purposes, but when the blinds are up, it's a lot more bright on this table. So um, yeah, you want it in a bright area where it's going to get a decent amount of light. Obviously, succulents roots do not photosynthesize, so it doesn't need to be in direct light all day because otherwise the roots will just die off. Okay guys, so just to recap everything that I just went over, you wanna pull the leaf off 
as cleanly as possible, trying to support it on the stem and on the leaf. You want to make sure that that break between uh, the leaf and the stem where the node is is as clean as possible because that's where it keeps all the DNA. Uh, definitely let it callus for at least a week. Um, I would definitely recommend waiting until we started putting out a few roots because I've personally noticed that um, leaves that have been on my tray that have no soil roots when I put them on there are still waiting to put out water roots. Whereas leaves that had a few soil roots that I put into water have already started putting out water roots and started growing plants. Now you definitely want to make sure that you don't submerge the entire node under water. Again, that's just ensuring rot, basically. You're, what the aim is, is to basically try and eliminate any risk of rot. Yeah, if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys, and I love hearing from you over on my Instagram too. So if you'd like to follow me over there, you can follow me at Kai Sucks. Or you can even add me on Snapchat, which is at Kai Reese. That's R-E-E-C-E-E. -E -E. Um, and if you would like to stay notified of every single time I upload them, please head over to my channel and click that little bell icon. Um, like I said, it will notify you every single time I upload. But yeah, that's all I've got time for you for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.